Okay, we're back. We are. And since we're filming, you probably think we're on vacation, and we are. Amazing. We yeah. do it twice a year. <laughs> yeah. Best intermittent YouTube channel on YouTube. <laughs> but anyways, we are in the Redwoods, so it's a different trip for us. And we're going to start off with maybe the, the Showcase tra uh, Trail. Yeah, we're super excited for this one. So we're going to do Miner's Ridge Trail, which will hook up to a beach. We we'll go up the beach to James Irvine, which will take us through Fern Canyon. So it should be fun. All right, let's head out. One okay. thing I wasn't aware of until we uh, planned this trip is actually that there's Redwood State and National Parks. So it's not just Redwood National Park. But I mentioned that to point out that this trail is in Prairie Creek uh, State Park or Redwood State Park or whatever. And you come, and this is another confusing thing. This is a trailhead for all these trails. So we are doing Miner's Ridge Trail there. Thank you, Betsy. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's all told is about 11 and a half. Elevation gain is not bad on any yeah. of these trails. No, I think it'll be pretty fun. It's just yeah. gonna be like getting in there and hiking. There you go. <laughs> I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> not 200 feet into this. It's already delivering. It is so beautiful. This is just ridiculous. Yeah. And it's impossible to show how tall these are and just how massive they are. I it mean, really it's not. Is amazing. Yeah. We don't have this in Oregon. We have great stuff. As uh, forget and forget Paris. You got great stuff. But this is pretty unique and this is pretty cool. Look at this. This is, That's going to be an annoying thing I say I a thousand times. <laughs> but. You can really see the like cathedral, uh, how they grow in the cathedral pattern. You know where they're all around a big tree or all grouped together. It is so amazing. And how such massive things can grow so close. Because in case this is hard to. So this is Andy next to the roots, and he's adorable. Look at that cutie pie. He's cuter than the roots, but and then like the tree starts, and then and it goes all the way up. And he's 6'3". Yeah. Like... <laughs> and I'm 300 feet wide! <laughs> In addition to a thousand, look at this! You also probably get a thousand Jurassic Park yeah. references. Oh my gosh, yeah. And just looking at it, you can just imagine dinosaurs tromping through this. Oh, I feel like a dinosaur right now. Yeah. And actually, one of the reasons we like or wanted to do this trip to uh, Fern Canyon, or this hike, I should say, uh, is that is a filming location of the Lost World, which is not as good as I remember <laughs> as a kid. Wait, are you going to pretend that that's your favorite movie? <laughs> no, but I loved it as a kid. In fact, as a kid, Jessica, my sister, and I both, I think, thought it was better than the original, wow. which is not true. I mean, we were, that is a kid's opinion. Okay, we've come to our intersection and we are, so you can do this loop either way. You can either go James Irvine first and then uh, hook back up with Miner's Ridge. But a website that we found that we're trusting uh, suggested Miner's Ridge first. So if that's a good suggestion, I'll share the website. <laughs> if it's not, I'll share the website and curse its name in this vlog. But no, that's, so we're gonna go this way. You go down to the beach. And you hike north, and you come back on James Irvine. So yeah. Pretty cool. And the website that we found suggested doing this in the morning because of the sun coming through. And right now I feel like that's a good suggestion. Oh yeah, it could so. have been more correct. Yeah. Okay, we stopped climbing, which is kind of nice. <laughs> and we're cooling off, and we came across this tree that has all these cool warts on it. And that is totally a tr tree term. Uh -huh. um, but then if you look up, right up there, there's the like, right, yeah. yeah, on the right, I don't know my left and right, um, there's like a spot where there's a whole other tree that's just like branching off of this. I mean, it's so big. Okay, another trail junction. So we just came down there, 
and you can either go Clintonia Trail this way, which hooks up with James Irvine, and, he, and if you can read on that sign, you can get to Fern Canyon quicker that way. Or you can go longer down to the beach off to Miner's Ridge Trail, which coming from the trail, it'd be a left turn here. And that's what we're gonna do, because it'd be about like seven and a half if we just cut it off here. But in you know, a website we're going off of says, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna miss stuff, so we're gonna and, do it. And I feel like this is what we're here to do for yeah. the whole day, so like... Right, that's the thing. What, <laughs> what else are we gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> Just gonna hang in our tent. I don't think the lighting will quite... Well, it's pretty good on this, but it's just absolutely breathtaking in person. I'm glad we're doing it at this time of day. Oh yeah, I mean... It looks, this is going to sound super stupid, but it looks like a painting. Like, it looks like how you would want to place the sunlight. Uh-huh, right. It's just so beautiful. I think we're getting close to the ocean only because we get this misty, you know, effect in with the trees. It's actually very pretty slash like, ominous. Like, you can kind of listen, hear like a faint roar. Of the ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Or of a lion. Yeah. You never know. Let's hope not. We are kind of uh, trying to speak a lot because that'll deter wildlife. And we, we just came from a very bushy area. Yeah, and as Betsy said, we're, we're the only people... We have have passed some people. But like maybe three groups of people for, yeah. for a good, like, how long have we been? I mean, this is like five miles, six yeah. miles at this point. Yeah. It's amazing. There's a curious scent in the day air. Yeah. It was the scent of salt water. I have done it. I have brought you to the ocean. Welcome to California. Grab your feller by the hand. Welcome him to the promised land. <laughs> In case you're not nerdy like us and you're probably getting a terrible angle of me. <laughs> That's from waiting for God. Also forgot what that was actually gonna tell, uh, communicate, <laughs> which is I think we can actually think, smell the ocean. So I think we're close to the beach portion of this hike. So that'll be nice. We're definitely at the beach part, about to descend to the beach. We got down to a parking lot, you took a left, and we're just following this road, and that should be it right there. If you can see the canopies, there's a blue canopy, I think that's just before the beach. So pretty cool. Another section of the hike. Just hiking along the ocean, no big deal. They are big waves, so we're gonna keep an eye on them. But we are low, so we can uh, at least have a little bit more solid footing. We're on this for about a mile and a, 1.3 miles, supposedly. And it's probably gonna be a tough 1.3 miles, so we may be cursing the beach by the end. But we're enjoying it for now. I'm gonna try and speak over the waves, but there's actually not a, a sign for where we turn up, but the website again said, look for humans. Where you see them, there'll be a parking lot nearby. And there's humans up ahead. So we may actually be getting close to the parking lot, which would be nice, because I think Betsy's getting a little tired. Okay, just through here is the parking lot. So we found it. And there's a nice picket table right here. And we're gonna stop and have lunch because it's about 12:30. And I'm hungry. Yeah, and then we're gonna go into Fern Canyon. All right, we had lunch right over there. Walked through the parking lot, and now we're on our way to Fern Canyon. Yay! To see, we're debating this. We think we're debating our favorite dinosaur, and we brought up Stegosaurus. And isn't it Stegosaurus in the Lost World that Julianne Moore interacts with, with Vince well, Vaughn taking the photos? I believe both of those things. definitely think we have the Lost World scene right. Because oh, isn't this... Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is where they encounter a Stegosaurus. Wow. 
Now we're reading a little park billboard or uh, plaque that this was all under the sea and then with retreating oceans. It was all carved out by the sea and then just left for the ferns to grow. And the ferns are like 325 million years old. Right. Like these ones aren't, but like their ancestors. So that would put them amongst the dinosaurs easily. This is so amazing. Yeah. Okay, I think we reached the end of Fern Canyon and it just hooks back up with the James Irvine Trail. Yeah, there's some little stairs on the side. Yeah. After you do have to pass under some uh, trees or yeah, fallen trees. So I doubt you're doing the whole trail if you're if mobility is an issue, but there's something to know. Yeah, especially with the beach, but you can see a lot if you can't walk very far. Okay, and just like that, we were out. And actually, we ran into some people who were confused about the Fern Canyon Loop. They said it was 0.6, and this does say 0.3 back that way. So I guess it would be 0.6, but you do have some stairs here. Again, if mobility is an issue. So just be ready for that. But yeah, we are now on James Irvine, which we were on earlier. Will we take we're, it to the right? Going to this one. And we're going to park headquarters. There we go. While we catch our breath from the stairs and before we get too far from Fern Canyon, impressions. Oh my gosh, so cool. Like, yeah. And I kind of feel like if you can do the hike, doing the hike to Fern Canyon makes it really worth it. Right. It's Versus like you drive in there. Yeah, you sweat so much, so it feels like, whoa, like yeah. you um, really made it. So it was really cool if you can do that. But otherwise, you could still see it if you drove. Yeah, you can, yeah, because it's 0.6, as we said, yeah. with the, the loop. But yeah, definitely worth it, I'd say. Definitely. Okay, this may be the biggest one of the day. There you go. You can obviously tell, but that no. That is huge. It is massive. It's a good distance off the trail, so it's just massive. Like wow. my fandom of Betsy. Oh boy. Pooped. Betsy's just a little, little pooped. Bit. Yeah. But. As per usual. But we only have 2.8 to go. Less than that. Well, Less we saw a sign that. that said that a while back. <laughs> but In it's my good. Head. Yeah. I'm preparing for 2.8. There you go. All right, we're back. Yes, we're back. So what do you think of the hike, I guess? It was great. I yeah. really liked it. I mean, I am super tired, if you can't tell from my face. Yeah. And I wonder if I got sunburned, actually. Oh, but, well. yeah. Yeah, I, we've been here half a day, or maybe a full day since we first arrived. But I would think that would be one of the must-dos if you come to the Redwoods, I'd think. Yes, definitely. And I like how we did it. So a lot of people start at James Irvine and then go to Miner's Ridge, which we did the opposite. And that way, actually, we got the beach done before we did Fern Canyon. And then also the loop made it so we were entering the face of Fern Canyon versus hiking down to it and then either hiking through it which would be fine, but you then you kind of not met with the face of it, I guess. Yeah. Or I, you could go down and then loop, but then you'd have to loop. It'd be doing like a loop-de-loop -loop type thing. But, you know, I'm sure it's good either way. Uh, but that's just, sorry. We were happy to do it that way. And it's redwoodhikes.com is the website I kept referencing. And I would give it an endorsement now that we've done yeah. one of their hikes. And the narr like the narrative they have with it is pretty good. Yeah. It follows the trail really well. Yeah, all right, well stay tuned. We're doing more in the Redwoods. Yes. But this will be a standalone video for that trail. So, all, all right. right. See you let next us, time. Yeah, and let us know if you do it. Yeah. <laughs>